like this. Going on, your brain doesn't track time with a clock. It measures it through the density of information it processes. The more data you take in, the more time your mind believes has passed. Now, I've said this in other videos, but keep in mind of the narrow slit of perception of reality that we experience, your body, your subconscious has taken in about 11 million bits of information at any one time. But your conscious mind is only able to process 40 to 50 bits of information at a time. But what if there's a way to make it 60 or 80 or 100 bits of information? Imagine just a little bit more information, if not a lot more, how much more you perceive of reality. So think of it this way. When you're engaged, present, and absorbing rich sensory information, your mind creates a high definition recording of your experience. When you play that recording back later in your head, it seems to stretch longer than the actual time that passed. You literally feed your nervous system more data. Even your internal clock, controlled by brain regions like the basal ganglia and cerebellum, begin to stretch its rhythm in response to rich, deliberate input. So slowing down doesn't dull you, it awakens you. It makes time feel longer because your mind is absorbing more life per second. And once you know how time really works, you start noticing how often it controls you. Deadlines, panic, reactivity, time controls you. You're just reacting to everything. But what if you flipped it? What if you controlled time and your perception of time? Thank you.